welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another five minute craft video today i would like to make book page flowers and all i need is an old book page i have a problem ripping out book pages i don't know why but it takes me a while and some kind of punch it needs to be a circle it can be this one i like this one this was one of my first ones or a smaller one you know it's up to you if you want to make a tiny flower, a bigger flower, whatever you have. If you don't, you can also just trace something small, like a small glue bottle, and trace a circle and cut it out. Works too. So I glued my book page onto a piece of cardstock because I do want it to be a little bit more sturdy. And yeah, I'm going to just cut this piece off so I can work easier. And I'm going to keep it because it's perfect for mixed media. <laughs> okay, now all I need to do is just to punch myself circles. Just like that. And I put them onto the darker piece of cardstock because when I fold it over, I really want it to be a little bit darker. I don't want white to be there, if that makes sense. Now... All we need to do, oh, we need buttons or some kind of a middle, you know, but I think we should use our buttons. I might find one. I have so many. I might find one that goes perfectly into a flower. I don't know, but I do have a full jar of buttons, as you can see. <laughs> so the project is really, really easy. You can... I'm not going to do it right now, but you can distress the edges, of course. So find your middle right here and then fold the lower part right in the middle, just like that. I'm going to use a bone folder because it's easier to me to, you know, make crisp edges and I really want this to stay in. So... Like I said, you can make different sizes of flowers if you want to. So this is how it's going to look like. And I'm going to do the same thing to all of them. I will find the middle and then kind of, you know, pinch it at the bottom. So I know where my middle and the bottom at the bottom is. And then I will fold, make it a little bit crisp. And I just use normal paper glue to glue the paper, the book page, onto the cardstock. So it might not be the best way, but I didn't want to waste my art glitter glue today. For some reason, I'm keeping this one today for myself. <laughs> yeah, that's just sometimes how it works. But the normal paper glue does come off sometimes, so, you know. But this is like a vintage kind of flower, so that's fine, I guess, if that comes off here and there. So I'm not sure how many I will need, probably even one or two more, we'll see. So pinch it, fold it, and it's really easy. Once you know where to fold it, you're going to be like, like a pro. <laughs> so... As you can see, everything is done in real time here. And every time I pinch it, the little piece of the book page comes off at the bottom. But, oh well. Okay. It's the same thing like that you get. And then you get your little flower here. And if you work good and you pinched good, it's going to be fine. Just like that. You see, I'm going to just go ahead and get another little piece of paper. Get another little circle. So I have, you know, space to glue it onto. And now I'm going to use a little bit of my glitter glue right here. And just glue it down. That's how fast it goes. Can I find the middle here? Push, glue it down. <laughs> and as you can, as you did see already, it just fits one next to each other. So 
it's gonna be like that it's really pretty I like it especially if you're making like um, some vintage or even shabby project you know it's just if you have folded too much then your flower is gonna look a little bit different so if you get there and you know what you're doing you should pay attention to the folds that's what I'm saying okay now I'm going to just check it so everything is kind of in there and this is the flower you get you can just leave it like that if you want to you see this one little piece I fold it a little wrong but everything else lines up <laughs> so and now you have to decide what kind of center you want to put in there and I have chosen the little white one because I think it goes best you know you can also put some twine inside and whatever you want to do here but I'm just gonna stick it down in the center you can leave it just like that or you can take a piece of bling I'm having those right here because I was doing a project and you could put this one right in there as well wonderful you know for your project it depends if you have some color in your project now this is going to take a couple seconds to glue down and um yeah if you use some gems then you should pay attention to the color in your project of course and then just use the same gem and this one is going to take a little while I would say you're probably better off with a hot glue gun or with a liquid glue like this silicon glue but just for the video I wanted of course this to be faster but I'm just gonna use some of the silicon glue here it's basically your hot glue but in a cold form it's not gonna look too pretty now because I'm hurrying up but I think it's going to be just fine okay I like the silicon glue I didn't use it too much but if you just have a tiny bit of something you want to glue down and you don't want to wait for your glue gun to get hot you know and mess around with that then silicon glue is your choice <laughs> or should be a choice and this is how the little flower looks like I think it's adorable and I know that I'm, I said I'm not going to do that, but I am. And I want to use some vintage photo to distress it because I think it looks best. <laughs> and this glue needs a little while, you know, so I wouldn't move it too much. Let's distress those little things here too. And it looks much better already. Much better. Look at this old flower put it onto your project you know put it into your pocket letter so this is the size I made you can also of course like give them some shape if you want to just pinch it a little like this and give it some dimension and it's gonna look different as you can see put another center in there do whatever you like to do you know use different papers it doesn't have to be this paper you can make a colorful flower of course if you don't have a flower dye flower punches flower anything you can still make flowers and they will still look pretty so I think it's adorable I'm loving this I'm thinking about putting a little gem onto the button <laughs> but i'm gonna do it later <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up share subscribe and enjoy your day i see you soon bye bye